When telling the story of the American Revolution, no version would be complete if it didn't include a mention of the Boston Tea Party. Probably the most celebrated protest in American history, the events of December 16, 1773 added more tension to the heated rift between the American colonists and the British Crown. While the Boston Tea Party was the most famous of these tea-related protests, most people don't realize that there were several other similar incidents that will play out over the following year. On this episode of Destination Anywhere, we're going to examine this tea-based debauchery and also visit the site of one of these lesser-known protests near the Delaware Bay in Greenwich, New Jersey. Before we dive into it, if you're into history, mysteries, and other lesser-known stories of interest, don't forget to subscribe to the Mickey Shuffle and click the notification bell so you never miss a piece of the action. With that out of the way, let's jump right in. The list of events that led to the birth of the United States is too vast to cover in this video. But with that said, I do want to cover one of the critical elements that led to the American Revolution, and that's the issue of taxation. A constant point of contention between the colonists and the British Parliament was England's effort to raise money by taxing the colonists. Colonists strongly opposed this thought process since they had no representation in the British Parliament. One of the main reasons Britain felt good about all this taxing was because they had spent so much money in an effort to protect these colonists during the French and Indian War which concluded in 1763. While the British tried their hand at different taxing methods throughout the 1760s, it was the Townsend Acts of 1767 that really put the pedal to the metal. As part of this act, colonists were to be taxed on items such as paper, paint, glass, and of course tea. Naturally, this didn't sit well with the colonists, and they would boycott many of the items. As tensions over taxation simmered, a partial repeal of the Townsend Acts occurred in theory, but taxation on tea remained, and the 1773 Tea Act would nudge the two sides much closer to war. Soon, the Tea Act would lead to an all-out boycott of tea in the colonies, at a time when tea was at its peak as a beverage. Bottom line, if you drank tea, you were cool. Soon the opposite was true, and if you drank tea, you were perceived as the enemy by anyone that opposed the crown, especially the Sons of Liberty, a revolutionary group founded by Samuel Adams. At this point, the Sons of Liberty didn't want to drink tea, they didn't want to see tea, and they certainly didn't want to brought into their harbors. This would all reach a fever pitch in December of 1773, when several dozen men disguised as Native Americans would board ships in Boston Harbor and toss over 300 chests of tea into the water. This, the Boston Tea Party, was the most extreme act of insubordination to the British Crown yet. While it's the most famous act of tea destruction, it would be a mistake to believe the feelings of the Boston Sons of Liberty were solitary, as similar acts would play out down the East Coast over the next year. From York, Maine to Charleston, South Carolina, tea would be turned away from coming aboard U.S. soil in all different and sometimes destructive ways. One of the last of these acts of fabled patriotism took place in Little Greenwich, New Jersey at the end of 1774, a year after the Boston Tea Party. It all started when a British tea ship named the Greyhound began up the Delaware River towards Philadelphia. At some point, the pilot of the ship became aware that due to the tensions around tea in Philadelphia at the time, it would be better to divert from the plan and head up the Cohansey River to try and unload the tea elsewhere. In this aerial view looking south today, you could see where the mouth of the Cohansey runs into the Delaware. This was where the pilot of the Greyhound called his fateful audible. While navigating up the windy Cohansey, the pilot was hoping he could find a safe place to offload the tea so it could eventually be moved the rest of the way to Philadelphia on land. After a few miles, he came along the port at Greenwich and decided this would be the spot. Greenwich, a town that still has its historic charm intact, was actually one of the main ports in the New Jersey colony at the time. Here, the pilot of the Greyhound was able to link up with a British loyalist he had known before who agreed to hide the tea until it could be moved to Philadelphia. Obviously, this was supposed to be a secret, but soon the whole town was aware of the harbored tea. A group of locals would convene at the site of the nearby Cumberland County Courthouse to decide what to do about this dreaded tea. While the opinion decided here was to sit tight on the tea issue for a bit, 
a rowdy bunch of patriots decided to take the law into their own hands. They would soon locate the tea chests, drag them into town square, and set the tea ablaze. Legend says the location of that event was right here, the site of this memorial built in honor of those tea-burning colonists. While the monument, built in 1908, features the names of 23 men that were to have taken part in the tea burning, research says this list isn't 100% accurate, and the number of men is also up for debate. What is certain is that a large amount of British tea was destroyed in this location, and it's one of less than a dozen places that can make that claim. To trace the birth of America, you have to start on the East Coast. And for every iconic moment that played out during the Revolution, there's a lesser known tale of consequence. While the Boston Tea Party is seen as one of the catalysts for colonial freedom, lesser known events like what happened in Greenwich are just as significant when it comes to showing solidarity in the movement against British control. It's important to remember that these tea related acts of defiance weren't really a protest against paying a bit more for tea but a protest against the passage of the tax itself. As we all know, this belief system would lead to the Revolutionary War and eventually earn American independence over British rule. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of Destination Anywhere. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and subscribe to the Mickey Shuffle on YouTube.